um, we, they wanted to do vocal versions of their songs and Raymond Gray wrote the lyrics and sent them. It was very interesting the way they did it actually. They wrote the, he wrote the lyrics and then faxed them to them, but they didn't tell them which songs, you know, which set of lyrics was for which song. Um, but they wanted to know what they sounded like, and so I went and demoed about four or five songs for them, which was an amazing experience. It was very different to what I would normally do. It involved a lot more intimate singing. And um, I did a beautiful song called Simply You as one of them, and they came back and said, although they had allocated all of the songs to like Sophie Lane Page and Barbara Streisand and all these fantastic people, they said that I owned that song. They couldn't find anyone else to give it, which was the biggest honour any female or male artist could ever have from a writer to say that you own the song and say what they say. And um, I was delighted now because I'm on the same album as Barbara Streisand. <laughs> <laughs> and you do nothing else. <laughs> then we have another one here in front row. Hello, Leif. Uh, Sir, from German Radio. Hello, Sir. Uh, hello. <laughs> I know you've been partying a lot over the past few days, so... <laughs> <laughs> just, sorry, I have a sore throat. But <laughs> you've been singing too much. <laughs> <laughs> How do you manage to keep your voice that fit as it was in the rehearsal this morning? Well, thank you very much for that very nice compliment, because morning singing isn't kind to anybody, let me tell you. <laughs> if you'd heard me in, the, in my uh, hotel room this morning, you wouldn't be quite saying the same thing to me. It's a little bit like Lee Marvin singing it. Right? <laughs> but, um, I have to tell you that although it appears that I was partying a great deal, I am very careful about what I do with my instrument. I can't replace it. I have great respect for the gift that I've been given. I don't drink very much alcohol. Those of you who bought me beers on Friday, yes, I did drink some of them. Uh, you know, the truth is, Friday was our party night. I'm still suffering a tiny bit. That's for me done because as much as I love everybody and want to celebrate with them, I haven't forgotten why I'm here. And as a vocalist and for the experience, I want to have it completely right because it's no point in getting this opportunity and then partying so much that you forget when you get here what you're doing. Is that okay? <laughs> much more things since you are a former winner during the whole Eurovision circus and the contest. Well, funnily enough, uh, the last time I did Eurovision I was expected to be a part of everything because I was the local representative and actually I worked from about 6 in the morning to 12 at night. I never got to the Euro Club, I never got anywhere to parties. There was a lot more parties. Um, I feel very relaxed on this one actually and it's, it's been lovely to go and go to parties and to see the other delegates. That's mostly what I want to be doing because I get great energy from them. They're so wonderful. All of the delegates who are here performing, whether you like the song or not, they are doing what they do best and I feel great respect for that. And I enjoy them. They're here with great joy in their hearts. So I want to get that energy. Um, so, but I, I don't feel the need to be at everything because it's all right for those young things, right? They're all about between 18 and 20 something, right? I'm 42, beautiful with it, but I have to tell you, I can't keep up that pace, right? I was in the bed by 10 last night, I just want to say that. Can I have a question on that? Hello, I'm glad you've been so great. How are you? How are you? Uh, just a question for you. I know that um, you take your recording career has taken a bit of a backseat while you're raising your two boys recently. But I'm hearing of um, new material being recorded. So I'd just like to know who you're working with and if there are plans to release that around. Well, thank you very much for that, Keith, and it's lovely to see you. I haven't had a good hug of you yet, so make sure we do afterwards, right? Um, I have to say, I'm very honoured that. Uh, the guys over here are actually, have actually asked me to do more work with them because I love their energy and how they love the way they work. And Martin is the most amazing producer. He, uh, Martin is a co-writer, but he's also the producer of It's For You. He arranged it. He did the most amazing club remix. Have you danced to that yet? It's stunning, right? Even me, who doesn't dance, was leaping around. 